What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling, back for episode 3 of My Career Monday. We are picking up right where we left off last time on episode 2, and that is our dream match with Bret Hart. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Just turn the controller on, and here we go. Ding, 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 let's go, Bret Hart versus Trey uh, this is a dream match, obviously. Uh, just this is all in Trey's head, I believe. Big punches. Bang! What a beautiful knee to the face. Up the top rope. Let's get him up to his feet. Moonsault. Oh, he reversed it. Come on. I, I reversed that. I got that as well. Bang. Hit him. Oh, my God. This isn't fun. At least I caught his foot that time, though. How are you rolling like that? Let's go. Snap. Suplex connected. Let's pick him back up to his feet. Oh, Brett with a jawbreaker. And a crucifix. Got him. Let's go. Sunset flip. Power bomb. Bang. Beautiful. I wish I had the um, the pin combo unlocked, but I currently don't. Uh, obviously, you have to unlock the skills as you go. So... One, two, three, four punches, and a kick. Springboard moonsault. I missed. At least I connected with the flipping sent on moonsault again. This time I connect. And let's taunt, because why not? Right, Trey. One, two, three punches, and again, sorry, it's two punches and a slam to the mat. I want him to use that reversal really bad. Come on. Signature time. Ah, oh, just as well, I knew he was going to reverse. Right, let's reverse this and hit my sig. Northern Light suplex by Brett. There we go. I need to reverse quickly. Yes, got it. Signature. Up you go. Bang. Giant Feynman's carry cutter. Up we go. We're going to put this one away. Wait for the stamina. Shooting star press. Connected. Cover him, cover him, cover. One, two, three. Trey wins. Just beating Bret Hart in a dream match right there. Fantastic. I mean, I, I, was there ever any doubt? No. Let's skip these replays. We want to carry on. All right, continue. Uh, what is next? Are we back in the car? We are back in the car. Right, let's keep, dri uh, keep driving to Calgary. Mum messaged me saying she's missing me already. Here we are at the Heart Dungeon. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. <laughs> Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <laughs> Hey, Who are you? I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. <laughs> is Bret home right now? He is. 
Hang on a sec. Brad, two lovely people are here for wrestling training. He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's got to look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. I knew it. So oh, I knew it. Not home. No, and he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens like once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How That's just that mean. Fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Oh, that's not right. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez. And on that note, she slammed the door in our face. In hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Uh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face. Probably on account of the stomach pain. Trey is an idiot. Right about plain and simple. Wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. No, don't Wait, say that. Can't just give up that easily. I have an idea. What's the idea? Loading screen. So you drove all the way to and we're back at the Hall of Fame. With Bret Hart. I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. <laughs> so that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a... Uh, right, I take it we're going to Riley Flash. Yeah, we're here. Okay, we're already in a match. Uh, I'm taking on Josie Jane. Get her to red health. I can do that. The lighting in this arena is making my uh, tires look pink. They're not. They're red. Right, let's pick her up. So went for the middle kick and she caught me with a head scissors. Fair enough. This ring mat is held together literally with duct tape. It looks like a giant card sheet. Oh, come on. I got that. And tag into El Mago Jr. And that's a really cool reference to last year's my career. Uh, ladies and gents, if you didn't play it, El Mago was the, uh, just basically some guy that you wrestled, uh, that Buzz wrestled in Mexico, um, which was kind of cool. Obviously, a lot of references to last year's um, my career in this one. Forearm smash. I reversed that. I'm presuming he's El Mago's son. But why is he training with Riley Flash when his dad is a wrestler? Here we go. DDT plants him on the side of his head. Do you know, it's, it's really like off-putting that um, there's no like crowd audio. It just sounds really strange. Bang. I hit that. Josie Jane is annihilating red. And uh, just a little reference for you guys. If you look in the background of the footage... Uh, you should be able to see Shane McMahon's Best in the World trophy on the display over there. You can't see it right now, but if you look now, you should see it. It's right in the middle of all of them trophies, the biggest one. You can see it now. It's really good. Like, it's just the massive one. That's actually Shane's trophy. Yes, finally, I reversed something. Here we go. Sunset flip. Bang! I gave Red and Trey pretty similar movesets, but there is definitely some things that I have done different. Obviously, I've only got a limited selection of moves I can choose from right now. Like, I love that. That's so cool. That's like something Jeff Hardy used to do back in, like, SVR 2010. Right. Shining wizard time. Let's bounce off the ropes. Bang! Beautiful. 
Right, I need to get her to red health and she's just nearly out of green. Like, you know, this is, this match is not wanting me to do well. Tiger suplex, lovely. Pick her up one more. And a super kick to the midsection, sidekick. And a wheel kick as well. Right, let's try something else. Oh, oh. 8-0 with a right roundhouse kick and then some punches. She just hit me with a forearm smash and now a head scissors once again. I reversed it. Elma goes in, which means I automatically switch the tray. Go, go, go. One, two, three. Obviously, I'd give Red and Trey both that move because it's just, I find that really cool. Flip sent on and somehow he reversed. But never mind, I reversed his reversal. Up we go. Uranagi, side slam. Now let's get him on the ground and pound these mount punches. And a stomp. Bang, there it is. Right. I definite The hit detection, man, it sucks. I hit that. Flip sent onto the mat. Here we go, from the floor, up in the gut wrench, sit out power bomb, beautiful. Ricochet does that move, I haven't seen him do it recently though. Right, I have a signature, so it's time to go for it. Five minutes carry, and of course El Mago reverses. What even was that, a front chop block? Right, let's kick out. There we go. There's no audio either for the count, which makes it sound even more awkward. Okay, we both attempted running moves. That really didn't go well. Tag in red. Let's go for Josie Jane once again. Obviously, I have to get her to red health. That's the game. Are you serious? I got that. What the hell? Okay, I just warped and now I'm on the top rope. And of course, she reverses. She's trying to hit me, but she's missing. Oh my God. I hate this game. I hate this game. Parakarana from the top. We could be here a while. I don't even have any reversals. Belly to back suplex. I'm trying to get that reversal back as she just lays me out. Oh, stop taunting. I hate you. Right, up we get red. Let's do some things. And we both went for running moves again. Did not work. Run back in the ring. And go. Are you taking the piss? How's she just launching me out the ring like that? Bang! Beautiful neck breaker. And I once again don't have any reversals, so let's just try and take a vote. Wait, hang on. Why is El Mago this side? This game is so glitchy. Why is El Mago on my side? And nevertheless, she's got a sunset flip on. Two. I kicked out. It's cool. There we go. Let's hit her with a big snap suplex. And we finally got her to red health. Took long enough. Jesus. Perform a front grapple. Done. And Nick's just skipped again. Okay, never mind. Are we just going to ignore... This game. This game. I don't know if it's just my disc, but it skips so much. It is so annoying. Right, Elmago's in the ring. Why am I taunting? Get down. Oh, he's got me in a sleeper hold. He's got... He's got me in a sleeper hold. Get your foot up, Red. Get your foot up. I mean, Trey. Get your foot up. And no, never mind. He's got me in a sleeper hold. And I tap out. Shouldn't have been taunting. What did you expect? It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch Riley breath. doesn't seem too impressed. Next time, all right? You good? Continue. And it's another cutscene. Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey! Ow! What was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? It's not torture if you're paying for it. Now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. 
It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we gonna face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Red. Sorry, Red. Even though whilst I was wrestling as Trey, I had the one who's red, I was not you, on the offense more. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE like three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. <laughs> you mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. No, oh, no offense, Red. Whatever, you'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks, I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. Okay, that's better than nothing. Be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. Well, apparently Trey isn't very impressed with that. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. Oh, that's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Denver? I, don't know. I thought that was where he was from, not his name. And Omli. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. Carl Botch? On account of all the moves you bought? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Just like that, eh? Probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Great, looks like we've got our names. Okay. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I wouldn't say they were awesome. Awesome part. Oh, there you go. And there we go. Uh, I'm going to wrap this one up here. We've just reached a new level, Rookie 9. And that was that. I do hope you enjoyed, ladies and gentlemen. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. I will be uploading My Career Monday episode 4 next week, so stay tuned. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.